Hey guys, well, in the last video, I cleaned out my coolant tank because it was starting to stain some of my parts and I was really not happy with how easily it was staining. Um, my pulley here, you can see, I didn't wipe it and you can see how it just, I mean, I spent a lot of time machining this and it came out really nice when I got finished, but after doing the work on this it just stained it I took a stuck it in the lathe and took a uh, scotch bright and cleaned this up but I didn't get in here so that I could show you I was really disappointed so I decided to take the advice of Chris and Russ they're using cool right 2290 this is an amber color coolant but once it mixes and you start using it, it's a milky white uh, they claim that there's no staining with this and it actually does better with lubrication now I'm not sure what Russ mixture Russ is using uh, Chris is using a 10% mixture uh, but the recommended mixing concentrations here on the bottle for general machining it says 7% for aluminum 7.5 and for difficult machining 10% I think what I'm going to do is go with a 8% mixture and I can always raise that up if I feel like I need to uh, in the future. So we'll see. You can see it gives the refractometer readings uh, for the different mixes. And to find out how much coolant you need per gallon for whatever percent mixture rating you want some input from Chris I decided to go ahead and build a coolant mix calculator so let's go take a look at that and we'll figure out how much we're going to need for our 8% mix of cool right 2290 all right well here is a brochure that I downloaded from the cool right website and you can see it gives you the different operations and materials and what percent dilution uh, that you should be looking for. Uh, down here it gives you the refractive index. The way they calculated the percentage of dilution is the refractive reading times the refractive index gives you the percentage. So what I did was I took this information and along with Chris's help I came up with this coolant calculator. When you're mixing new coolant you just put in the amount of gallons you want to mix uh, in my case, it's 3.4 gallons, the refractive index, and what percentage dilution I'm looking for, 7.5%, uh, 8%, and I should have a BRICS scale of about 5.77%. And it also gives you the amount of coolant that's going to be required, uh, in theory, to get this percentage. So about a quart of coolant to 3.5 gallons of water should give me the right mix. Now over here I put down the refractive index of some of the popular coolants that are on the market. Uh, cost cut is something that Wyatt's trying and the refractive index on it is 1.8. Uh, Qualcomm is or Qualchem is pretty popular that's a refractive index of 5. Coolrite is 1.3 and Cool Mist uh, it wasn't listed However, when I checked it, it was 0.6. Let's take this information, this 5.77, and I'll go out and mix cool right. Okay, so I've got a gallon of distilled water, and I've got 8 ounces of my cool right 2290. Now, I, according to my calculations, I'm going to need 9.6 ounces per gallon. My coolant tank holds 3.4 gallons. What I'm going to do is just add three gallons and then we'll see where we're at. If I can add more than that, I will, but it's going to be around 28 ounces or so, almost 29 ounces total. Now, one thing that I noticed real quick is this Cool Right is fairly thick. It's not quite the viscosity of motor oil, but it is, it is fairly thick compared to the Cool Mist, which is basically just water. So I'm going to mix this up 
and then I'm going to pour it into the coolant pump and we'll put a gallon in there and what I want to do is as I'm doing this I want to take a paint stirrer here and I want to mark on there each gallon so that I can use this in the future when I need to add coolant to my tank I want to be able to use this to see how much I have remaining and I can do my calculations with the calculator that I showed you earlier to figure out what my new mix is going to be once I, it starts evaporating and I start using uh, losing coolant to um, the machining process. Alright, so let me get all this mixed up and uh, we'll get it put in there. Okay, I checked the level and that is one gallon there. Or actually that's one gallon, nine and a half ounces. But should be fairly close. So I just marked it with a pencil. I may go back and put a couple of notches in there so that in case the ink, or excuse me, the lead gets gone. All right, so I'm gonna add another gallon, repeat the process, put an additional mark, and then another gallon until we get our three and a half gallons there. All right, so let me do that. Okay, well, I have finished filling up my tank, and it turns out it's a sort of a amber color. That's about three and a half gallons right there, 3.4 gallons, something like that. So what I did along the way is I added a gallon and made a basically a dipstick. So I have one gallon, then I added another gallon, made a mark, added another gallon, made a mark, and then I came back and split the difference. I don't know how accurate that'll be, but it should be pretty close. So that's a half a gallon, gallon and a half, three gallons, three and a half. And that's, for my particular coolant tank, that's full. So I'll be able to use this when I get ready to replenish my coolant. I can stick it in there and see how much I have remaining. And with the coolant calculator and the refractometer, I can check and see what my percentage is. And then I can just figure out what I need to add to get it back up to three and a half gallons. So I I mixed it and then I started running the coolant. I ran it for about 10 minutes just to make sure it was thoroughly mixed. I took in the refractometer and made a check. I actually mixed it a little stronger than I had wanted. I wanted to get it around 5.8, but it's actually around 6. So it's somewhere between 7.5 and 10%, which is fine. Um, Chris runs his at 10%, so I think um, it's not really a big deal. Uh, you want to make sure you keep the reflectometer clean. Spray bottle of some alcohol. And just to clean it off, make sure it's clean so that the next time... I use it it will definitely be clean the we'll see how it works when we start doing some machining I'm still working on my honeydew project uh, installing some trim if you guys are interested in that I'll shoot some photos I didn't take any video but uh, I'll shoot some photos and it's pretty pretty um, elaborate some of the trim that I'm doing I'm putting in crown chair rail and faux panels so it's taken me a good bit of time. I tell you, I've been I've went through about 12 tubes of caulking so far, and I still got some more to go. So it's just tedious work. But once I get done, it should look good, and the wife should be happy, and I can get back out in the shop and start machining. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.